What's up guys, welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken, here today to share with you five tips for collecting movies in 2022. So this is a little bit of a different kind of video for me. I don't do a lot of topic-centric videos, um, but I definitely wanna get into doing more of these types of videos in 2022. So I'm gonna start with this, five tips for collecting movies in 2022. So I've been collecting seriously for I would say about five, five and a half years and I've got a pretty good size collection. It's not as big as some, uh, but I would say a respectable collection of almost 2,000 pieces uh, of physical media at this point. I, I would say it's pretty, uh, a pretty conservative estimate. So I've been collecting for about five and a half years seriously. I've always collected movies. I have a VHS tapes when I was a kid. I collected DVDs, but my collection was only ever maybe two to 300 uh, pieces at any given point. It's, it's only been recently that I just hardcore dove um, into collecting physical media. So for those of you guys that are just getting started in collecting, maybe you've collected for a few years and you want to get into it more seriously, um, you know, this video is really for you. And I, I'm really going to make this a a uh, kind of like a budget centric video. So this is tips for those that want to start collecting but are uh, kind of limited by their funds, by their budget, but they still wanna grow a collection. They still want to get into this physical media world and just kind of experience all of the uh, wonder of collecting physical media and all of these great new releases and all of this stuff that you see all of us on here just talking about all the time. You wanna get into it, but you know maybe you don't have the most money in the world. None of us do. So I'm really here to help you by sharing these, these five tips. Before we get into it, guys, I wanna ask if this your first time discovering me on the mid-level media channel uh, if you looked up how to collect blu-rays in 2022 or, or 4ks or whatever we're going to talk about here today hit the subscribe button also be sure to hit the like button and comment down below guys if you have any tips for me um you know leave it in the comment section below i'm always looking for new tips on how to collect uh, blu-rays and dvds and 4ks for cheap so leave that in the comment section below also if any of this helps you i would love that feedback as well so yeah i really just uh, came up with the idea of doing this because i do get the question a lot from people that are just getting started collecting how do i amass such a collection for cheap i don't have unlimited funds it feel it does feel like all of us youtubers are on here always just showing off everything we're picking up 20 to 30 releases a week it's like how do these guys afford all of this stuff um, and I'm definitely, I'm, I would say I'm right in the middle. I don't buy everything, but also I don't, I, I do get like two to three, four releases every week. Some stuff I get um, in for review free from, from people. I don't get a lot of companies that send me stuff, but there are a few uh, that do send me stuff for review like Aero Video, Mill Creek. Cause I feel like at this point I, I'm kind of rambling. Let's get into this. Um, and my number one tip, my first tip, these are in no particular order. I said number one, but my number one tip, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is don't feel the need to buy everything new. Don't feel the need to go into the store every single Tuesday and buy every new release that comes out. That is not the way you should start collecting. You should start collecting by buying the movies um, that you like, that you love, that have been with you for their entire life. That should make up the first part um, of your collection. And that would maybe include some new releases. But getting back to this, don't feel the need to every single week go into Best Buy, go into Target, go into Walmart, and buy everything new. That's not the way uh, to start collecting because all of these titles first week are usually marked up to the highest that they'll ever be. Um, and what you find with a lot of these releases, if you wait a couple of weeks, if you wait two to three weeks, these are gonna drop uh, 30, 40, in some case 50% for some of these um, just within a couple of weeks, just within two or three weeks um, of, of coming out. Like I, I remember this past year, like Scott Pilgrim, um, came out on 4K and I think it was like $21.99 and then two weeks later it was down to like $15 on Amazon. Like this stuff happens all the time. So hold off on this stuff and only get the things that you can't live without, that you just need the week of. Like when, when the thing came out on 4K, I knew I needed that week of. I was not waiting. I needed to see the thing in 4K. So I got the thing and I held off on some other titles. So you got to hold off on some titles. Don't feel the need to pick every single one up because uh, they will get cheaper as you go. And also just think to yourself, am I really going to watch everything? Um, and ask yourself, like, which one of these movies that I'm buying this week am I realistically 
going to watch this week? Which ones can I wait? Which ones am I actually going to watch? Organize all of those thoughts in your head and then and then buy what you're going to buy. And of course, I know there's the, the chance that you're going to miss out on the slip cover, like maybe in four or five weeks. And I have this issue all the time. It's always an internal struggle. There's movies I don't want to pay full price for, but I'm like, if I wait, I'm not going to get the slip cover. But I found with a lot of these, and, and this is an example right here. I've got Spiral on 4K. I waited like six months to get this on Black Friday and I still got the slip cover. So there's a good chance that you might still get that slip. So you might not have to worry about it. So don't feel the need to buy everything new. That's my number one tip. So getting into, and you're going to save so much money just by going off of, of that tip alone. But number two tip, guys, keep an eye out for the sales. There are so many sales going on. We are really just in an era, just a great era for collecting physical media for very cheap. And we're just spoiled with sales all the time. They are always, it feels like sometimes they are giving this stuff. They're just throwing this physical media at us. So many great sales at all different points of the year. Kino Lorber has great sales. If you're into their stuff, you know, they do like a June sale, an October sale, a winter, December sale now. Their stuff will usually go down at like eight or nine when it's usually like 17 to 20 when it first comes out. So if you wait on some of those titles and, and really take advantage of those sales, you can save a bunch and just get a ton of new physical media for cheap. Like MBD is always doing great sales. Then of course you got the Criterion sales if you're into those. Those come out, they're $40. On Amazon, you can usually get most of them for $27.99. But during the Barnes and Noble 50% off sale twice a year um, in uh, July and November, you can get those titles for 20 bucks flat. And then like the $50 uh, titles you can get for 25, that Godzilla set that's like $250, you can get it for $125. So instead of picking that up for full price, um, you can get that for half the price. That's saving $125 with one single release in that sale. They also do two flash sales. Um, on the actual Criterion website. So that's another one to look out for. And now they're including Arrow in the Barnes & Noble sales. So that's another sale, 50% off for Arrow video titles. Screen Factory usually does a few sales a year. And then you got just all of the incredible sales week to week um, on Amazon. Like get on Blu-ray.com. I share these sales every single week in the Physical Media Report. Um, just tons of great sales. And that it goes back to my uh, number one tip. Wait for some of these titles. Some of these brand new 4K titles, like three weeks later, uh, will go way down in price. And sometimes you'll have to wait a couple months. Sometimes you have to wait three months. But that Universal Monsters collection was like 70 bucks when it first came out, 60 to $70. It is now on sale for like 42 Maybe it's not anymore by the time this video goes up, but it went down to $42 this week. Um, so wait for these sales. If you don't feel the need to pick it up right away, wait for the sales on some of these titles. You got Groove that has great sales on 4K titles. You got Hamilton Books that's always doing great sales. Like really dig into this stuff, Google it, and just see where you can find all these sales because sales are going on all the time. So keep your eye out. Definitely follow me on Instagram. I share these sales. I have that link down below. Um, and also just on my physical media report, I'm always sharing sales and stuff uh, to look out for. So let's get into my number three tip for collecting movies in 2022. And that is don't be afraid to buy used. Um, sometimes I feel like there's this kind of negativity towards buying used, like you're above buying used or something. I buy used all the time. I can tell you right now, in the very beginning of collecting physical media, I wasn't as financially well as I am now. My, my wife was a stay-at-home mom. She didn't work. I was the only one working in the house. I had to find creative ways to collect a lot of physical media. And a lot of the times I would go to half price books. I still go to half price books. I would go to Goodwills. I would search in those places for Blu-rays and 4Ks and DVDs and really just try to pick my spots to buy stuff for very cheap. I've gotten some really great deals at some of these locations. I got Edge of Tomorrow on Blu-ray for like two bucks. I got uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes for $2 on Blu-ray. Like these were in the very beginning stages of collecting physical media. And if you wait for those 50% off sales at half price books, like the stuff that's like two or $3 will be $1.50. So you can get Blu-rays for like $1.50. Um, also be sure to hit up those Dollar General sales. Like they'll do 50% off. I remember there was a glitch sale at Dollar General that made everything like $1.25. I bought like 60 Blu-rays. Uh, during that time. So I built up my collection there. Um, Dollar Tree, guys, don't be afraid to go to the Dollar Tree. I've bought a lot of garbage at the Dollar Tree, but there's also some good titles. You'll find some hidden gems in those Dollar Trees. So definitely go in there, hit up your pawn shops, your thrift stores, your flea markets. Like there is just some incredible finds out there. And the thrill of the hunt, guys, um, cannot be discounted in collecting physical media. Like it's the most fun 
um, part about it to me. Like I love, I love going out every weekend to Best Buy and looking at all this stuff, uh, the new steel books for 35 bucks and all that stuff. But nothing gets me more excited than going into a flea market and just coming out with a bunch of physical media that I did not expect to find for super cheap. It's super awesome. You know, of course, in the times that we're living in right now, guys, be safe about it. Get home immediately. I've got uh, wipes over here. Like I always wipe everything down with like these Lysol wipes every single time I come home take it out of the bag, wipe them down. That's the first thing I do. Peel the stickers off, all that stuff. So be safe about it. Wipe inside the container, wipe outside of it, get it nice and clean and pristine, and then add it to your collection. But yeah, guys, buy used. Don't be afraid to buy used because you can find some really great stuff out there in really good condition. And in some cases, you can still find the slip covers with these items. So buy used whenever you can, how, as often as you can, because that'll really help you build that collection with some quality titles for very cheap. Now my fourth tip for you guys, and this is a very important one, and one that I think all of us in this community, um, if you're part of the Physical Media Collective community, or on Instagram and stuff like that, and you're following all these collectors and stuff on YouTube, like myself, like others that have great channels as well, don't let FOMO take over. Don't be afraid to miss out on the hottest new release. And this kind of goes back to my number one a little bit. But what I want to talk about here in particular is just these special editions, these steel books, these awesome titles, these imported titles. Like I see all kinds of people posting all of these great images and stuff uh, that's very expensive. And it's like, God, I just want this. Um, live vicariously through other people a little bit. Allow them to collect what they can collect and don't feel bad about not being able to get certain items for yourself. You can miss out on stuff, okay? Don't be afraid uh, to miss out just because you see everybody else grabbing it because the fact of the matter is, guys, and this is a very important thing to remember, is we're all in different points in our life financially. We're all in different points of financial stability. Uh, we all have different responsibilities. Me, myself, I've got a wife. I've got kids. I've got a house. I've got a mortgage uh, to pay. So I cannot buy every single thing under the sun. Some people, their kids are grown. Some people don't have kids at all. Um, some people, they, they get their paycheck and the only thing they have to spend money on is physical media and stuff that they enjoy. So don't don't uh, uh, be afraid to miss out on the releases and, and realize that everybody's in just in different. Some people just make more money uh, than you. Some people are just more financially stable. So you have to remember uh, that kind of stuff and only buy what you can but live within your means I guess is what I'm trying to say buy physical media within your means don't rack up your credit card because you're going to regret it guys you're going to regret it um, unless everything that you buy is just going to be worth like triple what it is in two years and you can sell it all off and just make uh, an incredible profit you're not going to be happy uh, with all this physical media if you got all this debt to worry about with it so don't let the FOMO take over. Buy what you can buy. Um, and, you know, pick your spots. You know, maybe get one great new awesome Steelbook premium release every single month and just uh, do it that way. So moving on to my number five, guys, and this will be my last one that I'm going to talk about is one thing that I also think is very important. And I try to do this every month, but I always fall off. But that's make a pickup plan budget every single month. Look ahead. Um, and I, you know, I'm going to be doing these, uh, videos every single month, just highlighting my 10 most anticipated releases. And I'll also talk about other stuff so you can get it from that video, but also, you know, get on blu-ray.com. Like they'll show you everything that's coming out in a given month, get on there and really start to dig into what's coming out and make yourself a pickup plan, highlight certain things that you want, things that you don't feel like you can live without and budget week to week, figure out what your budget, whether it's $50, $75, $20, $100 a week, figure out what you can afford to spend every single week and then budget your pickups and releases around that. So if you go into the store on Tuesday and your pickup budget is 50 bucks, you know you can get a steel book for $35 and then you can get a regular Blu-ray for 15 bucks or something like that. Or maybe just two cheap Blu-rays uh, for 15 bucks. But what I'll also say is that will really help you out is leave yourself a little bit of wiggle room. If your budget is 75, you know, go out with the plan to spend 50 to 60 and leave yourself full of about $20 to play with because you don't know what you're going to find out there, guys. You don't know what deals are going to come up. So always leave yourself a little bit of wiggle room as well. So I think that this is super important, making a plan every single week, going through all these titles and just deciding what isn't isn't going to make the cuts as far as your physical media budget for the week. So 
there you have it guys those are my five tips again there's probably more i really tried to think hard about this and also come up with stuff that i haven't heard a lot uh, from other videos and, and, and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you feel a little bit more enlightened about collecting physical media. I hope this helps you out. So let me know in that comment section below if it does. And again, if you have any tips for me, I'm always looking for tips to save money. Leave that in the comment section below. But I appreciate you guys watching. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I have all kinds of Blu-ray 4K physical media content, some DVD content as well every single day on this channel so definitely hit that subscribe button also be sure to like this video and turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and i'll see you next time